All right, today we're going to talk about how to find ranks. So say I have this column of data and I need to find a Spearman correlation. Well, notice there's six numbers in the X column. So the ranks that I have available would be one through six. I typically kind of make a column out to the side and I just list all the ranks I have available to use. I have six ranks, okay? So now we're going to start ranking our data. Well, what's the smallest number in the X column? Well, you'll notice there's a one here and a one here. So I'll go ahead and highlight those. Well, we can't give them both the same, a rank of the, they would take up two rank places. So they would take the first two ranks. So let's highlight those. But I can't give one of them a rank of one and one of them a rank of two because they're the, exactly the same X values. They're both an X equal to one. So the way I do that is I average them together. So the way I would do this is I would, let's do an equation. And the way that I would do this is I would say 1 plus 2 divided by 2, which would give me 3 over 2, which would equal 1.5. Okay, so this is what I would do in order to find the X rank. So let's make all of these a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing here. Let's change this to 30. There we go. So the final rank for this one would be 1.5. Let's just make another rank column to put the final rank in. This one would also get a rank of 1.5 because basically you average the two ranks together. All right, let's center everything up here. There we go. All right, let's look at the next rank available. The next one that I have available to use is a three. So what's the next smallest number in these X values? Well, it's a three. There's only one of them. So I'm gonna highlight it and you would just cross it off your list if you want to and it would get a rank of three. So there'd be no calculations involved. You'd just use the next rank. All right, next, we, what's the next smallest X value? We well, only have three left, but they're all the same. So there's three of them that get a rank of four. I'll change these to a different color so you can kind of see them a little bit better. Let's make them green. All right, so there, these three numbers are gonna take the next three ranks, which are four, five, and six. So I've got to have the average of four, five, and six to put as the value. So the calculation that I would do here, so let me insert the equation for what I would do. I would add them up, four plus five plus six, and I would divide by three numbers because I'm taking the average of three numbers, just like you would take the average of three grades, okay? 4 plus 5 plus 6 will give me 15, divided by 3 will give me 5. So the rank would be 5 for an x value of 4. Well, there's three of these, so these three would get a rank of 5. So that's how you would go about doing ranking of numbers if there are multiple x values that have the same x so multiple ones in this case, multiple fours for scores, okay? So you'd have to take the average of the available ranks for the next few numbers.